All right, so you already know how powerful ChatGPT is, but what if you can put it into Google Sheets? Well, it's an interesting combination of elements. Hopefully, you've been using ChatGPT to write emails, draft ebooks, or even make ad campaigns. But now you can put the power of ChatGPT into your Google Sheets and work with your data with whatever that is. First, I'm going to show you how I use it. And then after that, I'm going to show you how you can build this out for yourself. So I'm here in my captions for clients. So first off, I built a caption builder for ChatGPT. So for example, I have my prompt here that says write three different variations of an Instagram caption based on the video transcription below. I paste my video transcription right here. So here's the first use case is if you have Instagram reels and TikToks that you're making and now you want to come up with a caption, yes, you could manually sit there and come up with a caption or I wanted to be able to do that at scale. And so now I made a caption builder here. For this first one here, it says write three different variations of an Instagram caption below based on the video transcription below. So I take my video and it usually has a transcript for it and I copy and paste that into here. And it says the first version should be short, no longer than 20 words. The second version could be longer, max of 75 words. And the third version includes an engaging question that either invites the audience to share their opinion, ask a question, yada, 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 yada. So now it spits off three different variations of a caption that I can play with. And now I have an easy starting block to go ahead and create my post. I took it a step further and I also built in a YouTube title generator. So this actually copies and paste this cell and it has a new prompt here and it'll pop out three different YouTube titles. Now how this works is if you look at this, it has a formula called equals chat GPT, which is then taking these cells here as the prompt. Now, in order to make this work, you can't just put an equals GPT. You need a plugin called GPT for Sheets. GPT for Sheets and for Docs. That's the first version of how I use this. The second version is that I created a RSS feed spreadsheet that pulls in the major personal finance and real estate news sources and curates them all into one. And so this is Bigger Pockets, Zillow, CNBC, Forbes, all of that put together. And now I get the topic, who wrote the article, a link to the article, as well as a quick summary. So this is is cool, but I'm not using ChatGPT yet. So here's how I use ChatGPT alongside all of these live updates. So you'll see here, this is a live RSS feed from Redfin where they posted 15 unique things to do in Nashville, elevate your bathroom, but these are all live articles that were published each day. Now, this first prompt here will actually give me five hooks that I can use to react to this article to add to it. So if I wanted to use this as inspiration, I now have a prompt that let me just increase the size here that has generate five hook variations for a social media post based on the article's content, list them in separate lines. Here's an example of hook templates that I like. And so I gave it information of different hooks that I like. So now let me go ahead and decrease that size. It has outputted different prompts here. So it's five hidden gems in Nashville that locals love. And now you can go into your list. The next prompt is to create four video prompts that either add to the video's context, add a response or reply, or create a challenge to the thinking, or to create a bit of controversy. So you know what's crazy is it's actually pulling things in Nashville, Tennessee that I have no idea. So have you ever been to the House of Cards in Nashville? So this next variation of how I implemented this is that I have an RSS feed that pulls in daily blog posts from Redfin. From here, this first prompt will actually give me five hooks if I wanted to react or add value to this based off of hooks that I like that I've put in. The next one will give me prompts if I just wanted to add context or maybe even controversy to that video. And the last one gives me a full script. And so let me increase this size here so you can see that it's giving me an opening shot, a scene, a voiceover, more captions, and that is all done live. And so now I'm gonna build this out for every single news outlet that I like, so I can almost have an endless idea bank of content. So here's how you can build it. First off, you're going to need to add the extension so just Google GPT for Sheets, it'll pull it up. And from here, you can press install on your Chrome browser to get that in. You'll have to also allow it access to your Google Sheets. And from there, once you have it in, you can now enable that. Let me just create a new sheet. And let's say from here, I'm gonna create a prompt of, give me three video prompts about the topics below. The prompts should spark curiosity, controversy, or teach something. So I'm gonna put a task, context, uh, give me a tone, and this tone will be in eighth grade level. And from here, the topics will be, let's actually just have ChatGPT create me some topics, huh? Create ChatGPT to make help me make this video. Give me 10 interesting topics on real estate investing. 
All right, so once this spits it out, let's do the five here. Give me three video prompts to help me create a social media video about the prompts below. I will paste in my topics and let's actually, just to make this easier, wrap this to paint and paste. And now I'm gonna go equals GPT and I'm gonna select this. Oh, I did not enable it first. So let me go to tools, extensions and enable. So that's gonna allow me to now use it actual code. So I can go to equals GPT, and now I can select the task and the tone and close that and press enter. And now it should work. Okay, so here's the output now. Now, the hard part is that it is kind of hard to read. So sometimes this output, you have to then transfer over to a new document, especially when you're asking for things like this. And then it'll allow you to go ahead and uh, paste and read it easier. Now, it's not perfect. You have to tweak a little bit, but there could be some interesting things that you can do with this. And there you go. That is how you put ChatGPT into Google Sheets. I'm really curious on what you would be using it for. So let me know what you're going to build out down in the comments below. And if you made it this far, type in the comments. Thanks for the hack. Josh, just so I know that you made it this far in the video, I know that we're best friends. Again, my name is Josh Baldovino. I'm a marketer and I'm a real estate investor and I want to do anything to help you. And if you want tips on how we are improving our marketing and building wealth through real estate, make sure to subscribe and please like this video. If you found any value at all, it would really help the algorithm a lot. So thank you in advance for doing so. If you want to see how we are producing 300 pieces of content per month, click this next video here and I'll see you all in that video. Cheers.